Hi, I'm Sabrina Michael. I am a PhD student at the University of Missouri in the Division of Biological Sciences. I've always been very curious about animals and plants and I just have always had so many different questions about how life works. So that's what got me really interested in science. Even though I had loved science all my life, basically, I kind of got disinterested a little bit and so I took a summer class, it was a summer ecology type of class where I went out and did field work and I did that because it counted for several science credits and so I wouldn't have to basically take any more science classes in high school. And I loved that class so much and I, re I realized how passionate I was towards science because we would go out and um, we did like water quality sampling, we went caving, we did a lot of field work and um, I just was always asking my teacher so many different questions that um, you know I, I ended up doing a science project from something that from a question that I had asked and so that like from that moment I realized that that's what I wanted to do I wanted to become a scientist so the big question that my research asks is how do groups of animals communicate or use communication to solve problems so for example how do honeybees talk to each other to be able to go out and find resources such as flowers or how do fish in a school, how do they swim, um, know which direction to go, know how to escape predators, how do groups of lions hunt together. Um, so those are the kind of big problems that I'm, that I'm interested in solving. I use a type of insect called tree hoppers to, to try to figure out how groups of animals communicate together to find resources. So tree hoppers are a very small insect. They are sap feeding, which means they feed on plants. And tree hoppers are able to talk to each other by vibrating their bodies up and down. And these, vibra these vibrations actually travel through the stem of a plant. And then they're also perceived by other tree hoppers on the plant. So how, what I do is I do what's called playbacks, where I record these vibrations, basically eavesdropping in on them. And we use special sensors, such as lasers, to be able to pick up the vibrations to be able to record the vibrations and then we play these vibrations back and then we see how do the tree hoppers respond to the vibration. One of the things that I love about being a scientist is that every day is different. Some days I'm going to be out in the field, maybe I'm recording uh, or yeah, recording vibrations out in the field, or I might be just doing observations, going out and just looking at animals, or I might be, you know, doing playback experiments in the lab, and then I also might just be analyzing data on my computer. I love science because I'm just such a curious person, and I think science is one of the most beautiful tools that we have. If you're curious about something, you are able to use science to go out and try to answer your question. So that's what that's the thing I love most about science. If a young person asked me, show me science, I would just ask them to look around and ask them what what sort of questions do you have? And you know, what are you curious about? Whether you're inside or outside, you know, just how do how does something work or what questions might you come up with? And you know, how might you use science, a really amazing tool, to help answer the questions that you might have. In the free time that I do have, I like to spend with my two dogs, Morty and Charlie. I also enjoy hanging out with my friends and family. And just recently, this year in January, I started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm a female, I am a first generation college graduate, and I'm the first person in my family to be in a PhD program. And I am a scientist.